This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the fillet command under the solid menu to change the corners or edges on objects to round them off or chamfer them. I'm going to just build a simple box. can shade this in and under solid menu is fillet edge. You can see we have several different types of fillets. We have fillet, blend, and chamfer. I'm going to start off with fillet and fillet puts a constant radius onto an edge. We can see that we have a current radius here of one. I'm working in millimeters so we have one millimeter. And I can select the edge or edges that I want to fill it. So I'm just going to select this edge because I want to put a fillet there. And I can right click to confirm my selection. And you can see that it's added some handles. We have a preview option if we would like to preview this. You can see that it shows us it's rounded it off and built a new surface in here. If everything looks good, we right click to confirm. And there's our filleted edge. I click undo and repeat the fillet command on this single edge. And I'm going to show you that you can also modify the handles. So you can click on the point right here. And you can see now I have control over this handle. So I can change the radius by either dragging and clicking to make it a bigger radius. Or I could type in a specific number like 3.5. When I've got the proper radius that I'm looking for, I right click and you can see that we have a changing radius fillet. We can do this amongst multiple edges and we can vary the fillet radius on these. I'm going to make these two, two, and three. I'll make this one four. Leave these others at one. Now, if you do need to change the radius at some position and there's not an available handle, there's some options for adding handles and removing handles. So we're going to add a handle and I'm going to find an area. So there's a mid snap here, or if there's an area where I just want to place it approximately, I can and I click and now you can see we've added a new handle. So anywhere along here I can add handles. I'm going to put one over here also and right click. Now that we've added some handles we can see there's a remove handle option so we could click that and click on a handle we need to remove. Right click. If we wanted to set these all to the same radius there's a set all option in here and now I'm going to change this value. So This radius goes from 1 to 1 to 2. And I'm going to enlarge this to 3. So 3 and enter. So now I've got this set up with some varying radius fillets and I can click preview and you can see the surfaces that it's constructed. Fillet sometimes can fail so a lot of times I'll click the preview option to make sure the surfaces are going to be constructed properly. It's not a requirement but just recommended. And now right click and we can see that we have our filleted object. You can use another shade option too for better seeing or being able to read our surface. So we've been using the shaded command out of here which is a working mode. There's also another shade, click here, which removes the ISO curves and the grid and some of the other options. If we need to bring certain things back like the grid or the curves, if you'd like to see the ISO curves, there's some other options here for shading in. But now we can get a better visual on this filleted object. I'm going to flip over, work on this other side of the box, and we're going to work with the chamfer edge command. So the chamfer edge has similar tools to the fillet, the only difference being that rather than getting a constant radius, we're going to get an angle or a bevel 
put on the edge. So I'm going to select those three, leave all the defaults at one, and right click, and you can see we've chamfered all the edges on. And the last command is the blend edge. And the difference between the blend edge and the fillet edge, the results are similar, but rather than having a constant radius, the blend edge doesn't necessarily keep the radius constant. So when I start doing things like adding a handle and click preview, this is a blended surface which may or may not result in a constant radius throughout the surface. So the construction method is slightly different in that the surface is a rounded surface, but not necessarily a constant radius surface. A lot of times, if I'm working with fillet, trying to round off an edge where the radius exactness is not important and it's failing, sometimes we can get away with blend edge in those cases. So those are a few ways of changing the sharp edges on solids, and that concludes this lesson.